wonderful quick feet. Has a shot. He has done it. PES 2016 was a big stride forward for Konami's football series and the first time in years that more than a few players decided to switch allegiances from FIFA. Well, PES 17 is even better. It's a game that benefits from a ton of small changes that add up to a game that looks and plays more like the real sport than ever before. PES has always been good at distinguishing teams from one another and this year's game is no different. But Konami has made a concerted effort to do the same for individual players. There were a few examples last year, but it's particularly noticeable this time around. It's there in everything from their animations to their evident strengths on the pitch. Raheem Sterling's distinctive running style is there, as is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's blistering turn of pace and Antoine Griezmann's speed of thought and close control. If you score as Neymar, you get an exclusive goal celebration where he takes his shirt off, though you'll be booked for doing so, so it's probably best saved for last-minute winners. Games move at a very slightly slower pace than PES 2016, with only the very quickest players able to put real distance between them and their markers. Or maybe it feels slower because defensive AI has been improved, so you need to be smarter and more methodical in how you break teams down. You can now adjust tactics on the fly if you're having no joy, and you've got more options from dead balls too. From corners, you can ask your players to sprint into the box together, or to launch balls to runners at the back post if you're finding your crosses are too easily cut out by the first man. Shots feel crisp and clean and it's easier to strike a powerful volley or half volley from range. So it's a good job keepers have been noticeably improved. The best of the best will fling themselves across to tip the ball around the post and tend to hold on to weaker shots instead of spilling them into the path of the nearest striker. They occasionally struggle to deal with headers and certain sweeper keepers can be a liability, but the odd mistake feels plausibly human. There are a few welcome changes to the enjoyable My Club mode, which is Konami's attempt to match the compulsive appeal of FIFA's ultimate team. There's UI improvements and the ability to sign specialty scouts. Meanwhile, online games generally run smoothly. So far, only around 1 in 6 games we played have suffered from noticeable lag, but you have the option to search for players with a higher quality connection if that becomes a problem. The trade-off is that it's region locked, so US and UK players can't play one another. Even the commentary has improved this year, though it still needs a bit of work, and if we're picking holes, we wish the referees would clamp down more on obstruction. Otherwise, there's very little to complain about. PES 2017 might not be able to boast any flashy signature additions like FIFA 17's brand new story mode, but like Pep Guardiola's arrival in English football, it's led to serious improvements all over the pitch. It all adds up to one of the best football games we've ever played. For more on PES 2017, stay right here on IGN.